facing a circular cast on the left leg for patient. He, ha he has a distal fibular fracture. No? Then after a week of uh, applying a splint, okay, we noted that there's decreased swelling. So we'll now convert it to a complete circular cast. Okay? For more added uh, mobilization and for more protection. Okay? So we have our materials here. We're using a plaster of Paris. Okay? Was already the wadding sheet okay, and the stocking net. Okay, scissors for a cutting of the stocking net on your wadding sheet. Then a basin of water. Okay, the temperature of water should be room temperature. Okay, so you want it not to be too hot because if it's too hot, it's too warm. Okay? The setting time will be faster. Okay, so first, we we'll measure the. Okay, the stocking it we'll be using. Okay. Basically stocking it, no? To prevent any skin irritation, okay? So you see here, he also has a wound from his uh, initial injury, and want to avoid that. You allow uh, two to three inches of stocking it, from the edges of the cast that will be applying. So your cast no, will be up to the junction between the proximal third and the middle third of the leg. Okay, so it will be up to here. So stuck in it. Up to here then, just adjust it. Okay, so it's a bit long, no? So we need to cut it. Two to three inches, we up to here, right? Now we use the body sheet as the padding. Okay? So we should have adequate padding for our casting okay? to prevent uh, any pressure source. So initially, differential, uh, then 50% overlap. level of your level, desired the uh, edge of your cast. So ideally around two to three layers only. Okay, you don't want to put too much padding because uh, this will make our cast lose okay, to the defeat the purpose. Okay, lose the purpose in mobilization. Then okay. now we'll get ready with our uh, The OP task, okay. Made the cluster of Paris. It has a rib inside, so we want to maintain that to facilitate the unrolling. You know. Now we'll put it here in the water. Okay. It's at room temperature, so ideally it's uh, around 23 to 25 degrees. Okay. So what you'll take note, okay, as you submerge it here in water, okay. We want to lose the bubbles as you squeeze it, okay? And that way, we'll ensure that uh, all parts of the cast, even the one inside, deeper part of the roll, you know, is already in contact with your uh, H2O, okay? And it will strengthen the construct of your cast, okay? So, you squeeze it. You no longer see the bubbles, okay? Then you're sure it's fully submerged, okay? Some cases or some uh, doctors, they cut the cast into two, okay? Further uh, increase the surface area, it will be exposed to the water. If there are normal bubbles, okay? And be ready for us to apply it, no? Okay. So we start the DV in the area where you want to uh, mobilize. So we start here the ankle or the foot. Okay. Okay, then about two to three uh, layers. 
can go back to the stocking net Really, for lower extremities, really, there should be around 13 to 15 layers okay, cast. We'll be applying another one. Uh, your, your cast. Okay. The next step would be molding. Okay. That's how you uh, direct or you can actually reduce some fractures. You know? And also here, try to dissipate the forces in your cast. Okay? So you use the palm of your hand, okay? the palm hand, to mold, okay? not with your fingers. Okay. Also as the patient, we or she feels any pressure points, Kasi may naramdaman ko yung parang may tumutusok. Parang dimediate sa isang area, wala naman. Yung dito sir, na parang hindi pa lula. Walang matingin. So there's no risk for any oscillations. Kasi you also apply the appropriate body. Usually this will set for around, after around 10 minutes. Also, tell the patient that uh, he or she may feel a little bit uh, warm or some heat. Or now, I'm going to be in it, though. I'm in it. I'm in it, okay. So that's why there's also a limit in the number of layers. Right? If you increase more layers of the POP, it's more risk of uh, thermal injury, no? Because of the exothermic reaction. Okay? Also check the fit, it's too tight, okay? Ano sir, mukhang may fit ba? Nice lang. So you can insert one finger, if you can insert one finger, that would be uh, adequate, okay? If you cannot, then it's too tight. If it's, you can insert the whole finger, then it's too loose. Okay, so only the tip of the finger, okay? I think that's adequate, okay? You check the alignment, okay? okay. So in POP, the patient cannot bear weight on this, no, unlike the fiberglass types. Okay, so the, the advice to him is uh, mobilization and non-weight bearing no, to let the fracture heal. Okay? So this is your short legs with the cast. Okay? 